What's up? I'm Hugs. That's Sam. Welcome to Hugs and Sam. <laughs> I want like a glowing little rainbow to pop out right now. We'll, we'll see. I probably won't be able to do that because I'm not that great of an editor. But anyway, welcome to Hugs and Sam. We're about to get into Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 4. Man, it's been four weeks already yeah. since freaking Attack on Titan. I was like making back. the schedule and I'm like, what? It's what? flying what? by, yeah, Diana. that's crazy. Yeah. Um, so, last episode, we kind of learned a little bit about Erwin's backstory. Mainly his dad was a teacher and that they talked about the history of, um, you know, this land and this kingdom essentially mm -hmm. and that they were kind of like altering history or yeah. at least what people know about what happened outside the walls mm -hmm. before uh they came in and erwin basically got his dad killed yeah because like long story short because he told the theory erwin yeah erwin little kid erwin erwin little baby erwin like was very you know curious about yeah. what was going on his dad told him a story and he spread it out got his dad killed yeah. um now which tells me that the theory that his dad had was was true was true yeah for yeah. sure well and now we see erwin climbs through the ranks and that's what kind of confused me is like if he knew that he got his dad killed by spreading that even even if he didn't know for sure as a kid but he like figured it out as he got older mm -hmm. like he works for the government he works for like is it because he wanted to be inside of the machine or mm -hmm. that was the one thing that i kind of questioned a little bit is why would he align himself so closely with with that yeah those who killed his dad it's exactly yeah. um but maybe it's one of those things like i just want to find out what they're hiding or because he wanted to explore outside the walls and find out for right. himself mm -hmm. you know there's things like that uh, but i want to learn more about his motivations to become a scout and here if that's what it is like you know because he told me there were these things out there i want to go and explore and mm -hmm. i just want to hear it from his point of view yeah and especially now that they have you know taken him and they're blaming mm -hmm. the scouts uh for the murders that kenny committed yes um I'm kind of interested to see how that goes because the rest of the team that we're interested in has gotten away. Mm -hmm. but the military police are coming uh, for them, like Levi, Mikasa, and everybody. Yes. Uh, and Aaron, last we saw, he was still bound up, and uh, Historia was with her dad. Okay. Yeah. That was going on. Uh, so it seems like everybody's in kind of compromising positions right now. There's yeah. nobody out there just really chilling. No. Everybody, they're either being, they've been captured by military police, they're being chased by military police, or they're like held up in the castle waiting for Mario or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but that's pretty much what's going on right now. Um, the whole Kenny thing is really interesting because we got a glimpse of historia's past yeah and we knew was kenny so was a part shocking. of levi's past right yeah. that he essentially raised him or whatever is yes. what we're assuming is what happened you know yeah. and but the fact that kenny killed, killed historia's her. mom yeah. and, and like, the sadness of that story too of her and her mom with yeah the first so and last words she yeah. ever said and of both incidents being really but also like i'm really glad that it was like her dad who was like all right let's let's not kill her let's yeah. let's make like a different option here you know and i really like that about, mm -hmm. about him it makes me think that he's less of a bad guy mm -hmm. but there's still you know what yeah, I mean? there's like, still a lot to learn there's still a lot like that i we still don't know. i still feel like there's a lot of gray area and i feel like it's a dark gray area it's yeah. like more towards the black than the yeah. white like i feel like he's still got some evil going on but it's it messes with me because his eyes it's the same as her eyes yeah. they're so like innocent they're so yeah. like they're just good big and, you know what i mean like beautiful you feel yeah. like they see the world in the best possible way yeah but i just feel like mm, there's some there's some darkness yeah and that's that's what i want to explore more but if he's on the, the opposite side of kenny that makes me feel like he's more good yeah. So what is the whole thing with the royal line? Why are they not known as being the true royal line? Yeah, like, is King Fritz a puppet? Because it seems like he still has power. Yeah. And it's like, there's just a lot of complexity going on in yeah. that situation that needs to be unfolded mm -hmm. uh, for us. I'm excited to see Levi kill some people. Yes. I'm excited to figure out what's going on with the Ackerman connection. Because mm -hmm. yeah. also, after we watched it, I went back... And because Mikasa was going to chase after 
Aaron and and Historia yeah, and like and, Levi and was Levi holding her back. Holding her. And I talked about that before when they were doing when they were chasing after Annie and like all the. There's been a lot of different situations where Levi has her protected her. her. So does he know? That's what I'm wondering, because the more that I think about it, I'm like. It could just be because like, he's, like, over her. You yeah. know, like, he's her her leader or whatever. Or at least, like, you know, he has some sort of responsibility over yeah, her. That would be intense if he knew. That's what know? I'm saying. Just just because they have that similarity of both being, like, kind of hothead, awesome, battling people. Um, but the fact that there's been numerous situations yeah. where he's, like, gone out of his way to protect her. Yeah makes me think that he knows or at least feels something for her yeah. like a like a bond right that's maybe different than everybody else yeah but you ever hear those stories about like twins or yeah you know like family members that have no idea yeah but they just feel like a connection and i actually yeah. real quick i actually have a story just for five seconds that i met i there was this kid that i was friends with when i was growing up and i uh we uh, like got really close and everything, and then I found out we were related. We were cousins. I had yeah. no idea. My mom told me she's like, "Oh, my cousin lives down the street or whatever." And it was straight up his kid. Oh wow! And we had hung out a bunch. I like it was weird. That's cool. I had no idea. Once we found out we were related, and I went to his house, we never hung out again. <laughs> Really? Because it was one of those things where I was like, oh, well, now, like, if anything happens, like, you're going to tell your dad, your dad's going to tell my mom, you know, like, yeah. like, if you ever get, as a little teenager, like, if you ever get into trouble or you're going to do whatever, you know, oh my gosh. you didn't want to, like, get back to your mom or stuff. So we, like, never hung out after that. That's sad. It's kind of funny. That's sad. Yeah. But I don't know. But it's a weird, like, small world situation of, like, yeah. the fact we were related. We hung out. We never even knew. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, a real life situation. So right. it's, like, it could be that they have no idea. Yeah. Could be. Especially because he grew up underground. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of things in this season. I, I didn't know if I was going to get as into this season without the constant threat of Titan battle. Yeah. Because that's the driving force. That's the driving mm -hmm. factor throughout the whole show so far is like whenever everything starts to feel kind of calm, bam, there's a Titan. <laughs> you yeah. know, like mm -hmm. it just it has that craziness. And there's the same level of tension with just the people, especially because Kenny is scary. Yeah. He is scary. Kenny's almost scarier than a Titan. He's um, like McCree. The, uh, he is kind of. The other things I want to bring up real fast, still waiting to see the the outsiders, like the shifters in that group. I don't know what to call it. Like, yeah. whatever the outside people are, you know, like the, the shifter people in that kingdom that Ymir was from where she yeah. was like royalty for a hot minute. Mm -hmm. um, I want to see what's going on with them. And then the Beast Titan we haven't yes. seen. I want to know what's going on. Like we get, yeah. that was the cliffhanger of last yeah. season. And we still don't know because he's like, not yet. Eh? Yeah, exactly. Like, like, that was the big cliffhanger. Yet, <laughs> that was a big cliffhanger of yeah. last season. And we're four episodes, well, three so far. This is four. I would like yeah. to see him. Uh, also, what's going on with Annie Nut? Annie and the Annie, Walnut. Annie Nut. The Annie Nut. Annie Walnut. Uh, and just because I have to say it before we get into it, and we're eight minutes in the video, so we're going to jump into this, but hashtag basement cult, what's in the basement? Still don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> I'm waiting so long. Well, let's jump into it. Let's see what's going down. I was waiting for it. I was like, I know they set this up as a trap. Where they at? And of course, it's Levi Mikasa. Like, look at him. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Those guns were like so different than anything we'd seen. Yeah. I didn't know that was like a new and different. Wow. See, I thought it was just a variant we hadn't seen yet. I mean, he's kind of in a rock and a hard place, like, no matter what he does. Oh, Mm. Huh. All they know 
人目が百人以上死にましたあ,あ,おいあなたたちは自分が正義の味方のつもりなのかもしれませんが被害者やその家族は突然地獄に落とされたんですよ。Oh, Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Even if it's true, you can't be sure. You know? Yeah. He was talking about having to like, kill people and stuff, but. <laughs> Did he really just trip? Wow. This is such like a twist. He's gonna drop the up. Wow. Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I was thinking. It was all a test. I was gonna say, because if he was really out to kill them, like, damn, that's a freaking 180. Like, yeah. <laughs> come a long way from not killing that person on the car. <laughs> Damn, the freaking battle wagon just yeah. coming in. Look at him like twitching. Dang, this is freaking awesome. I yeah. love this show. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, wow. I'm getting like freaking goosebumps. Like, what the hell? Oh, still! Look above you. Yep, 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 yep. That was, that was a little close for comfort, though. All the people heard it, wow! <laughs> oh, man! I just spit. Like, so bad, like... <sighs> She's... I was like... <laughs> I'm waiting for him to beef stew him. <laughs> you can come at me, wow! Wow. I thought I was gonna hate this dude, like, he was like... Damn! Oh. Oh. Just the vision of that, yeah. like... Damn! Kenny Ackerman? Kenny Ackerman? Look, did you see Mikasa like look up a little bit? Like, what the hell is going on with this whole Ackerman thing? I don't think so, fam. I'm gonna bet on that scout squad 10 times out of 10. Yeah. That's pretty scary that he's just like. Yeah. That makes it sound like he's gonna kill his family, you know? Mm. Freaking epic.
epic. Irving, Saigo ni Ino Oh my gosh. Oh wow. my gosh. You know what I'm waiting? You know what I want? Like, <laughs> I want so bad for him to be like, advance! <laughs> yeah, no, we're, oh my gosh. Erwin will always be, like, no matter yeah. what happens in the show, Erwin will down. always be, like, in my heart. People often ask, like, how, how do these shows affect you? Like, is there anything that stays with you or whatever and and things like that and i'm like it really does because like that moment of yeah. heroism even though it's written even though it's fake yeah. like that existed in a person's heart to write this. exactly you know what i mean like, like yeah that, that's what i love about shows that's what i love about books um there's a quote and i can't think of like exactly what it is right now but it's like if you read you live like hundreds of lifetimes mm-hmm. these. yeah and it's like that that moment has stuck with me and every time i see him i think about it because he's like so epic. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I could see it going both ways. I could see him getting killed, and I could see him not dying. Yeah. Because if he dies, I see that as a fire that burns in the hearts of all the scouts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. him him being a martyr in that way. Yeah. I could totally see that happening. And the but way everything's went down, like, I feel like he's gonna live. I don't know. I, well, the fact that like he's got gotta happen. that stuff going out with Pixis. Yeah. And just name dropping the dude's wife and stuff, like, where you live. Oh, you live you you live in Stoas? Yeah. How's Marie doing, bro? Yeah. You know, like I'm like, damn, yeah. son, like you you got the roll of day. It's kinda like, you know, the kidnapper he pops out the freaking phone, like, here's a picture of your kid at school, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like kinda scary the way he said that. Yeah, and but the guy also, was like, oh, oh. But yeah. like they're it, fine. If you look at it with a different vibe though, it's also kind of shows he's more attached to the people. Yeah. Like because if you look at it in a non-creepy way, it's like, oh, he actually knows about this guy and cares about his yeah, family, you know? Exactly. And I'm not sure how to read it, because I feel like it could be either way. Yeah, but the way the guy was shocked made it almost seem like yeah. not a care thing. Exactly. I don't know. Um, but I don't want to chalk it right away for Erwin to be like, threatening like a... to kill this dude's exactly, wife. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> because, like, he is a good guy. Yeah. But like we've talked about, AOT was the show that, that really launched me into the whole being good doesn't mean that you're always the white knight. Yeah. Like, sometimes you do dirty things for it's good reasons. It's the gray reasons. area. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This was the show that, that we really got into a lot of deep conversation about living in the gray area. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kenny Ackerman. What is up with Kenny that? Kenny Ackerman. So he is he is he Levi's like dad? No, I mean, I mean maybe like that's Kenny what I'm saying. Like related to Mikasa, but maybe Levi was like adopted or something. In I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it's like Kenny took Levi in after. Like maybe they're all related. But, like, he's not his dad. He's just, like, another family member. And, like, Levi's parents are dead and he took Levi in. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like... I don't know. I just know... All the Ackermans are badass. Like, I don't care. Like, hate me. Don't at me. Like, (laughs) Kenny is legit. I don't care what anybody says. People can be like, oh, he's so bad. He kills people. He is awesome. Yes. <laughs> like, I don't care. He really is. I love good villains. And yeah. he, like, especially the way they carved his story. Uh, carved is probably a bad word with the way they kills his story, his mom. But the way that they, they carve him into the story with that Historia background, also with the Levi background, now connection to Mikasa. Mm-hmm. Mikasa perking up when she hears yeah. the, the Kenny Ackman. She's like, but, like, Levi still, okay, so I don't know if Levi's face made it to, like, where he knew that. I, he, I didn't know some big of a reaction. Yeah, and so I'm like, if he... There was a reaction, but it wasn't yeah. like... Mikasa specifically was like... Huh? Like, what? But like, I'm not going to say nothing, but like I heard a, that. Like, I knew this, or something. I don't know. I don't know if he knew. I don't know. I don't know either. It's still like... Or maybe he was just shocked that he told him his last name. Yeah, but also, he, Levi doesn't really... He's hard to read, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's got like one of those... He's very non like very yeah. little emotion on yeah. on his face, you know. 
there's a lot that happened. I straight up thought Jean lost his damn mind. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, I was damn, like, dude, what is five happening? seconds ago you're about to get killed on a cart, like because you wouldn't kill somebody, and now you're like straight up going ham on yeah. some people. But all right, like <laughs> I like yeah. the way that it ended up. Yeah, I do like how that was yeah. like a test thing, and I even said like while it was going on, I was like maybe he's just like trying to test how they are. Yeah. For a split second, I was like, damn, he lost it. He's he's. But off freaking the... Hitch was like, wait, well, and you're just. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, man. She came she's in. She's like freaking softball. That, that was like her tryout for the Yankees or something. <laughs> like, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Um, what else happened this episode? We didn't see Astoria or Aaron, um, because I, I want to know, you know, Hanji talked about it forever ago about Aaron getting eaten, and, like, we expanded on that in the episode after, but now we haven't seen him, and I'm like, yeah, like what's going on? Him and Astoria, um, I don't know. Astoria, I'm not too worried about, because the dad I'm, seems... I just want to know more about her story. You I do, know what too. I mean? So it's like, is, if we could see her, then hopefully we'll learn more about the story of when we see her. I want to see Ymir. Yes. I want to see Ymir and, like, the whole crew outside. I want to see all of them outside. that are, yeah. like, gone and, like, oh, I want to see but, Ymir and Chris get back together. Because whenever oh. we, we talk about Historia, a.k.a. Krista, a.k.a. whatever, like, I immediately am just like, okay, Ymir. Like, I need to know what's up with her. Because yeah. that's just as huge a part of the story as what's going yeah. on with Krista, to me. Yes. Because they're, like, friendship or relationship, however you want to look at it. You ship them, like, pretty mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But I, I don't fear for her safety right now. And that may be naive, but I just don't. Yeah. Because um, even the, the chancellery or whatever, they're like, let her make claims. That doesn't matter. And I thought, um, I thought Rod was a part of that. I thought he was a part of that crew. Because yeah. wasn't he making the decisions before? I don't know. I d- what is his power exactly? Like what? Know. He's a lord. But like, what does that mean in the grand scheme of all these people? Because wasn't yeah. the other dude, wasn't the chess master yeah, the, a the, lord? Yeah. The, the dude who picks this, like, told off or whatever? Yeah, like the big guy that was all yeah, the food. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, uh, I'm going to mess this up. Is it Flagel? Flagel? Reeves, like the kid. Reeves the son. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. I really had not a care. Like, I was like, let him die. Get some info from him. Yeah. I, I don't know. His his dad, again, great character. He did bad things, or at least selfish things, but then he was trying to build up his city. He was trying to, like, you know, give back and actually rebuild what they had. And his son was still kind of like a little bit of a slime ball feel to me. And I was mm-hmm. like, I don't really like this dude. Yeah. Um, and at first he was, he, he kind of lived up to that expectation for me where he was like, why should I help you? And I don't care. You know, like mm-hmm. you guys already lost. And I was like, all right, like just let this dude go. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that moment was probably one of the most, one of the most emotional yeah. moments. And like he did that in a very slow clap. Of the season so far. Yeah. Just him saying like, I'm the boss now. Like I will like taking yeah. on that mantle. Right. When he was like just moments ago as far as the show goes Mm -hmm. like ready to just be running and hiding and avoiding death Mm -hmm. and now he's ready to like face it on and take up that that responsibility for those people it's just like it's really cool i i love how they flip that character on me Mm -hmm. because i i care now (laughs) like now i want him to succeed i want him to live i want to know more about how that that story unfolds even though it really has nothing to do with our our main characters or, mm-hmm. or the stories that I want to know about, it is the people in the end. What what the end game of all these scouts doing these missions, killing these titans, it's to restore humanity. It's to yeah. restore um, you know the lives of these people, and that's kind of what's happening here. Mm-hmm. Is they're getting some of that community back. They're getting some of that. I don't know that yeah. power, that freedom. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. This is a great episode. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, it's not like super balls to the wall all the time. Battle wagon was cool. Yeah, oh, they that freaking was just funny. roll like, up in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dang, <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else all happened. There was quite a bit that happened. 
the the thing about this season is it's not like super crazy moments like in particular like mega cliffhangers or anything Mm -hmm. but it's just a lot of like good quality story throughout the show yeah you know what i mean Mm -hmm. i don't know all right let us know what you thought in the comment section down below like it if you did sub if you don't already shout out to our patrons watching the full and early reaction up on patreon thank you so much for your support you really don't know how much it means it means the world we'll be back more videos soon we love you guys bye, bye.